From all around the world, we bring you the stories. We capture the details. Sweet Melodies News. We've got it all covered. Citizens of Israel, a year ago we celebrated Sukkot. At the exact time, Yahya Sinwa was making final preparations for the October 7 massacre. I stand before you today to inform you that Yahya Sinwa has been eliminated. The person who committed the most terrible massacre in the history of our nation since the Holocaust, the mass murderer who murdered thousands of Israelis and kidnapped hundreds of our citizens, was eliminated today by our heroic soldiers. And today, as we promised to do, we came to account with him. Today, evil has suffered a heavy blow, but the task before us is not yet complete. To the dear families of the hostages, I say, this is an important moment in the war. We will continue with all our strength until the return home of all of your loved ones who are our loved ones. This is our highest commitment. This is my highest commitment. And to the resident of Gaza, I say, Sinwar ruined your life. He told you he was a lion, but in reality, he was hiding on a dark den and he was killed when he fled in a panic from our soldiers. His elimination is an important landmark in the decline of the evil rule of Hamas. I would like to say again, in the clearest way, Hamas will no longer rule Gaza. This is the beginning of the day after Hamas. And this is an opportunity for you, the resident of Gaza, to finally break free from its tyranny. I call on everyone who hold our hostages. I call on whoever lays down his weapon and return our hostages, we will allow him to go out and leave. And in the same way I say, whoever harm our hostages, blood on his head, we will reckon with him. The return of our hostages is an opportunity to achieve all our goals and it brings the end of the war closer. To the people of the regions, I say, in Gaza, in Beirut, throughout the entire region, the darkness recedes and the light rises. Def, Hania, Sinwar, Nasrallah, Mohsen, Akil, and many of their associates are gone. I'm calling you, people of the region. We have a great opportunity to stop the axis of evil and create a different future, a future of peace, a future of prosperity in the entire region. Together, we can repel the curse and promote the blessing. Now it is clear to everyone in Israel and in the world why we insisted on not ending the war, why we did insist in the face of all the pressures to enter Rafah, the 45 stronghold of Hamas where Sinwar and many of the murderers hid. I would like to express my deep appreciation to the IDF and Shin Bet fighters and their commanders for their determined and courageous action. There are none better than them. Today we clarified again what happened to those who hurt us. Today we once again showed the world the victory of good over evil. But the war, my dears, is not over yet. And it is difficult. And it exacts heavy prices from us. I wish to express my condolences from the bottom of my heart to the families who lost their loved ones. I want to hug the families of our fallen heroes. Their supreme sacrifice, including the last few days, brings us closer to victory. As King David said, I will pursue my enemies and destroy them, and I will not return to their end. Citizens of Israel, we are in the resurrection war. Big challengers are still ahead of us. We are required for, for long patience, for the unity of the ranks, for courage, for a firm stand. Together we will fight, and with God's help, together we will win.